hey, today I'm a little dressed up because we're going to talk about poop. But don't tell anybody. I hear you can get in trouble for that kind of thing. Hey, it's Jordan Reasoner, and I want to welcome you to this episode of STD Lifestyle TV, where each week we give you simple, actionable steps that you can use towards better digestion. And today we're talking about poop, and not just poop in general, but we're talking about uh, the holy grail, the perfect poop. What is it? How do we know if we're having normal movements? What does it look like? How does it feel? How do we even talk about it? Because sometimes it gets a little risky, right? So today we're going to go over some really fun stuff, and I'm really excited to talk to you about it today. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to really tell what a perfect poop might look like. And for that, we want to thank a 1997 publication in the Scandinavian Journal of Gastroenterology, where we were gifted with the Bristol stool chart. Let me gift it to you first. If you've never seen it, the Bristol stool chart, it's beautiful. It categorizes our bowel movements on a scale from one to seven. Now one, as you can see, is very hard pellets, a lot of pain there, all the way down to a seven, which as you can see is pretty much watery diarrhea, right? Now, most of the people that come to SC Lifestyle have pretty much either ones or sevens, right? And we would like to be at about a four. A four is the first place that you can look at what might be a perfect poop, okay? Now this is important because the Bristol stool chart is something that's really cool that you can take to your doctor, you can use as a way to communicate about what's going on with your stool, and it's a good way to measure your progress, right? So tip number one today, most important thing you can do as you're working to improve your digestion is understand where you're at, Start by looking at the Bristol stool chart and then tracking and figuring out which way you're headed. Are you starting at a seven and you're trying to get to a four? Are you starting at a one and you're trying to improve down to a four? What does it look like for you and how can you stay on track and make sure that you're headed in the right direction? All right, now the next thing we're gonna talk about when we're talking about what does it look like to have a perfect poop? What are we striving for? Why are we working so hard to feel better? Okay, now, the next thing after what we're talking about with the Bristol stool chart and what they look like is how they feel. So, you know, a four might not actually be the best movement for you if you still have to push and, and have some pain and even activate some hemorrhoids, okay? That might not be ideal for you. Although if you're someone like me who's had diarrhea for a, a long history of my life and I'm trying to get to a four, a three every once in a while is kind of fun because I'm like, wow, that's really cool, you know? So it really depends on where you're headed and where you're coming from, okay? And the second thing I really want to impress with you today is not only what your stool looks like, but how easy is it for you to pass? You know, we don't want to have any straining. We don't want to have any difficulty passing it. We also don't want to feel like we're losing control if you're on the looser side of things like I was. You don't want to feel like you're not really sure if you can make it to the bathroom. So control was always a really important thing for me. And then also not having to push is something that I work with now when I'm trying to make sure that I'm not closer to the threes and I stay more towards the fours. So that's your second tip today. Now the third thing we're gonna talk about today with the perfect poop is how many times are you supposed to go to the bathroom in a day? Now there is a lot of different evidence out there about this. And I've heard anywhere from the best uh, movements are three times a day. So every time you eat, you're supposed to have a movement. I've also heard that transit time can be anywhere from 12 to 20 hours is ideal. So it, there's a pretty big range, right? Um, when I was having diarrhea 15 times a day, and then I got to the point where I was getting healthy and I missed a day, I was like, this is great, I missed a day, I didn't have to poop, ah! But, you know, then you've got the people that are constipated and they don't go but maybe once a week and they come to us for help. Now, either end of the spectrum, whichever one you're on, we like to shoot for, you know, anywhere from one to three bowel movements a day. And in general, the one end of the spectrum would be someone who's eating three meals a day and they have movement after every meal, or maybe they have one really awesome movement in the morning or one awesome movement after dinner, you know, whatever it is. Uh, one to three a day is pretty good and it keeps all the, the toxins and everything moving out of you. It keeps everything going. 
It shows that you have good transit time, good motility, and that's a great place to make sure that you're having the perfect poop. So to recap, perfect poop, number four on the bristle stool chart, not a lot of pushing, not a lot of urgency, and also hopefully you're having one to three of those a day. Now, if you're not in one of those three conditions, then you probably have some work to do, okay? And if you need support, you can use our book. Our book will help you get started on specific carbohydrate diet and get you moving towards a number four and get you moving towards that elusive perfect poop. But if you're there, I just wanna congratulate you. It took me years and years and years. I remember my first perfect poop still. I think I was like, honey, get the camera. Come, come check this out. You know, and I just celebrated like crazy. I, I almost wanted to buy some champagne. So I just wanna congratulate you if you're there. And if you're not, just keep working, keep sticking with us and you'll get there. And I wanna thank you again. This has been SC Lifestyle TV and I've been your host, Jordan Reisner. And today we covered three of the most really important things when you're trying to have that perfect poop. We'll see you again next time. Yep, yep, went to the poop place today. Uh, sometimes it's a little more risky to talk about poop than it is sex. What kind of world do we live in? That's a very ethical question that you should ponder right now. I think about it daily. You know, once you get to the elusive perfect poop, there's a whole new level of poop called the ghost poop. Have you ever heard of the ghost poop? The ghost poop is this mythical thing where you sit down and you feel like you pooped and it sounded like you pooped and you look down and there's nothing there and then you wipe and there's nothing on the toilet paper. So did you really poop?